Bob and Darren are in the common area of their 35-year-old housing co-op, practicing for their community barbecue. The music is good, but there's another star in this room. It's this, a heat pump installed last year. It can either heat or cool a room. Over a dozen members now in the co-op that um, currently have those units installed, and everyone loves them. The bills have come down uh, more than 30 percent. The co-op's decision to upgrade was aided by a free pilot project called the Strata Energy Advisor Program. That is everything related to energy efficiency primarily. It can be operations from turning down the heat or um, adjusting ventilation right up to major retrofits replacing boilers or roofs or windows. The pilot began in spring 2018 and soon filled to capacity with 200 applicants. The aim is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions created during the heating of strata buildings. The business case presented to the Strata Council has all the measures that apply to the building, all energy efficiency measures that we think is a good candidate for that building. And they'll see exactly estimated cost for each measure, the savings per year for that measure, and the payback period. That will help them uh, decide whether or not they want to go ahead and implement that measure. It was funded through Metro Vancouver's Sustainability Innovation Fund, along with support from several member municipalities. The pilot program is one of Metro Vancouver's early actions that supports the Climate 2050 roadmaps, strategies which will embed climate change into all of Metro Vancouver's decisions and policies affecting the region. Strata buildings are a significant source of GHG emissions, around 600,000 tons. Uh, in our region. In order to reduce emissions, Metro Vancouver with its partners are supporting strata councils to reduce emissions from their buildings. The barriers often for stratas are not necessarily financial or even technical. Some of them are actually about the decision-making process of stratas. Each strata council representative or owner is paired with an advisor and one of the first steps is a complete energy audit. At this new Westminster complex, a squeaky fan belt draws attention. The corners and the squeaking, it's not exactly the, the right size, so that would be one thing we could take a look at. But we looked at the HVAC systems, we looked at the lighting systems, we looked at um, the hot water tanks, and then he did a lot of inspection by himself for pretty much the entire day and then come back with a report um, that was extremely comprehensive and broke it down into a couple of different areas. Council was very happy. We would then have some outside expertise. There's really two types of clients that we see. The first have major end-of-life retrofits that they need to do. And then I'd say the vast majority are just looking for ways to save on their energy bills and have a little bit of a greener building. This co-op knew that it was interested in becoming more energy efficient and having the Energy Advisors program was just a godsend, you know, because it, it really allowed us to move forward quickly. Strata buildings are an unserviced market when it comes to energy efficiency. And they're not single family homeowners and they're not big institutions. And I think if we can find a way to support them, there's a lot of opportunity to improve on our GHG emissions in the region. So it's exciting and I think that one of the effects that it's had on uh, this community is uh, I think people are more optimistic. The Strategy Advisor Program is one of the first in North America to provide this level of support to strata buildings to reduce their GHG emissions. This is the pilot program so we're hoping that you know from the successes that we learned that we can increase its impact. If the pilot can be scaled up it can be a key initiative in the Climate 2050 Roadmap for reducing emissions from buildings in the region.